Spirit, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first cup, uh, card is the Oracle and this is being very, very focused on work. This is uh, the energy uh, is of Virgo, so spending a lot of time by yourself but very, very focused on your work and, you know, becoming uh, very much an expert at what you're doing. Um, so, uh, but feeling very, very lonely as well with that, um, you know, um, Virgo energy going through it. Now, you can see there uh, you've got uh, the Seven of uh, Wind, which is the Seven of Swords. You can see in this particular deck, this person's thoughts uh, of isolation, restriction, uh, oppression in that particular card. So this is what you're going through at the moment, feeling very pessimistic, uh, you know, feeling as though you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel right now. You are focused a lot on that work and focused on career. You're putting all your energy into it. You've got Mars and Capricorn over here. So being very focused on manifesting and working very, very hard. So uh, it seems that uh, is where you are putting all your efforts into or investing all your time. You've got the sacrifice card over there, which is like the hangman card. So you had to make a sacrifice in the past. Uh, you know, there was a lot of heartache. You gave up something very, very special, very important to you. Uh, it, you know, and, uh, you know, whatever you lost uh, seems to have quite an effect on you with that sacrifice card. Um, there's been a lot of illumination. Uh, so uh, this is about enlightenment coming to you, uh, you know, with this ace of fire here. So, uh, you know, something has come to light because you made that sacrifice. You are now seeing things in a very, very different way. Now, going into the future, you've got the um, nine of uh, seas, which is the nine of cups. So joy coming into you, your life uh, soon uh, and, uh, you know, freedom as well. Uh, and the sun coming out as well. So although you're going through a very, very difficult period and you're feeling very, very pessimistic about it, it looks like things are about to turn for you and, uh, you know, happiness and love coming in again. And you've got the two of earth, so cycles. This is the cycles card. Uh, and this is about making a decision, a choice, um, you know, and uh, more stability coming in as well. So things are about to change. Things are about to take uh, the turn for a better uh, here and you know this is about money coming in as well uh, you've got jupiter there uh, and that's going to bring in a lot of abundance and uh, you know uh, it's going to bring in a lot of success as well so uh, these are the energies for those two weeks so i'm using the jane austen tarot for this particular read i have put the deck in the description box so have a look So you've got the five of teacups over here. So you're going through a period of depression and, you know, upset and disappointment. Uh, you know, you, you're feeling, uh, you know, very, uh, as they said, very, very pessimistic. It seems like, uh, you know, whatever relationship you have, whenever there's communication, uh, this person upsets you quite a bit and it makes you quite depressed. Uh, you know, you, you're very despondent uh, and you're crying a lot with this five of teacups as well. So uh, it's, it's a very, uh, you know, unhappy energy that you seem to be going through at the moment. So you've got the two of quills over here and you've got the maiden of quills over here. So with the two of quills, you need to make some kind of decision. Maybe you haven't got all the facts revealed to you. Uh, there seems to be, you know, people around you that are giving you some advice and some support. It could be a legal decision that you are waiting for or you could be waiting to make a decision at the moment. You've got the maiden of quills over here. So you are very, very focused on your work. Uh, it doesn't seem uh, as though... Uh, you know, you're spending any time considering, um, you know, getting into a relationship. So it looks like, you know, um, you know, you are spending time with friends if you have any, but you seem to be very, very focused on that work and getting things done. The Maiden of Quills is, um, you know, somebody who's been through a lot of problems and you're trying to overcome those, uh, you know, uh, those problems. You're trying to overcome those negative thoughts. So you are now focusing on that work. 
So in the past, you've got the High Priestess card over here. So you might have been uh, involved in a lot of study um, with the High Priestess. Uh, you know, there were a lot of secrets that were kept from you. Uh, and, uh, you know, maybe you're waiting for the answers for that. It seems like you've also been doing a lot of study, uh, maybe soul searching as well, and relying a lot on your intuition to get, uh, you know, uh, going um, and spending a lot of time by yourself. Now you've got uh, the Lord of Quills, so there's some kind of legal decision that you're waiting for, or you've uh, maybe there was a legal decision that has just been made uh, in the last few months. Uh, so uh, that news has come to you, so you've got some kind of communication, something legal coming through for you there. Now you've got the Six of Candlesticks, what, uh, what you're hoping for is, you know, to have victory in that situation, to get through uh, all those problems and to move forward into the future. Uh, maybe even meeting somebody that allows you to, to move forward um, as well. So, uh, you know, things are starting, you're hoping things start moving for you, uh, moving very, very quickly. And you want victory in that situation. Now you've got the three of quills over here. So there is some kind of legal news that comes in. You're going through a lot of heartbreak with that three of quills. Um, and you can see, you know, uh, with that five of teacups, a lot of upset. But, you know, uh, whatever news is coming in, uh, it might, you know, you're waiting for legal news, uh, but you are, you know, uh, going through a heartbreak. Um, and it is, um, you know, causing you upset. You may have broken off communication with this particular person that you, you've been dealing with uh, because they, um, or you, you, you want to break off communication with them because it seems like everything they say to you upsets you quite a bit. Uh, and maybe this is why you've brought in, you know, uh, maybe you're even seeking legal counsel uh, to deal with this particular situation. But you are going through a period of, of loneliness and, uh, you know, um, and a lot of heartbreak with that three of quills. So uh, what's happening with you personally, you're looking at the past and looking at past relationships, uh, feeling very, very, uh, you know, despondent, looking to the past, remembering things and how they happened. It's causing a lot of depression. You might be having insomnia um, at night, uh, you know, because you can see this woman's uh, not even sleeping. So uh, still going through quite a period of depression there. Now you've got a two of candlesticks here. It looks like you have to make a decision. Now you've got to cut up that past. You've got that knife over here. Maybe somebody's going to give you some advice and that's going to bring enlightenment for you. Or you're seeking advice so that you can be enlightened in that particular situation. And you've got the seven of quills over here. So you were dealing with a very nasty energy. There, were, uh, there was a lot of lies, deception, deceit. Uh, you know, they were had a lot of vindictive behavior and uh, maybe they caused a lot of loss for you as well. So whatever they did uh, was really nasty. And, uh, you know, you're having to deal with that situation and you don't you don't want it to reemerge. So uh, going to the future, you've got the four of teacups over there, the three of candlesticks and the six of quills. So with the four of teacups over here, spending a lot of time being focused on your work over there and trying to get your emotional balance back again. So it seems like, you know, you're going to be, uh, you know, trying to, you're focusing on that work in order for you to get that emotional balance. Then you've got that three of candlesticks over here. You, um, you know, you might be planning on traveling as well. Uh, and this is about also, you know, putting out projects as well. So you seem to be very focused on work. Uh, you might, like I said, be communicating with a, a lot of people on, uh, you know, on the international front as well. Um, so it looks like, you know, you are focusing and you're making plans for the future. And uh, you've got that six of quills walking away from that negative situation. And there's a lot of uh, boats there, so uh, there might be some travel involved. But you can see this person's really moving away from uh, whatever he's been going through. So you, you're coming to terms with whatever has happened to you. Um, and it looks like, you know, you might be thinking of traveling, but you are definitely walking away from that difficult situation. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. So 
So you've got uh, the Queen of Michael, which says, you know exactly what to do, the benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. So, you know, it seems like you've given, you've put relationships uh, aside right now, and you're going to be focusing on your career. You've got the world card coming in over here, a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insult insight so you are uh you know achieving closure in that particular situation and it looks like it's going to be a happy outcome for you uh so you know you're going to be able to move away from this uh you know things coming to light but also that situation ending uh and you're now moving in to the future you've got the star card over here a dream come true believe in yourself the end of a difficult situation so you know you're throwing out all those negative emotions there's hope over there and you're being guided and helped and it looks like you know things are going to start working out for you uh so you know you're uh, uh things are looking up uh you're about to change that situation whatever negativity you've gone through um you know you will overcome it and you will move forward uh, and it's going to be you know positive changes so once you heal from the situation and walk away from it uh it looks like you know positivity is coming in for you and things will start looking up there doesn't seem to be a relationship just yet but it's because you're getting over this past relationship uh and uh you know you are being guided you will have closure in it uh and things will uh, resolve itself so all these difficulties will come to an end uh, pretty soon so I hope this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.